Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. So today we're going to be talking about my free to play account that I started two days ago. But before that, if I would have updated counter side videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so I started a free to play account last Saturday. So now it's actually a Monday. Um, so more or less, I have a bit of a progress. I've been I have been playing this account for, you know, for a long time over the weekend. And to give you a idea of if you play right now as free to play, more or less what are, you know, what are your chances or how many will you get more or less? This is just an estimate. This is not what you're going to get really, but more or less I had a bit of uh, I had a bit of crazy luck for my summons. So let's take a look at um, the events that you are going to be getting when you log in. So of course you have your monthly punch and rewards. Then this is actually another 100 day punch in. This is for the CEO. This is actually good for 15 days. And you will eventually get some task planet points here. This is also going to be good because you're going to be getting a testimonial SSR, which will give you a kind of a random SSR, not a selector ticket. Then also the last event would be your special special gifts for new CEOs. As proof, as you can see, guys, I'm only on my third day. Okay, so I got this yesterday. Um, I forgot what I got from that banner. Uh, sorry, from that ticket. But I think I got Esterosa from that one. Let's check out um, the missions as well. So I have been kind of busy. Um, and the login rewards always get this. This one, I already got five recruits. So that, sorry, 50 recruits. So that's a total of five pulls. 5 pulls times 10, so that's 50. And sad to say, Yuna is going to be ending her banner. So, or less, I I think I won't be able to get her. I already did get this one for Yuna. Um, the classified recruitment. The one that you could spend the uh, quartz for this one. Because the game actually gives you a lot of quartz early on. So, you have extra, really extra quartz. So, I spent um, already 2 what they call this two packages here one for yesterday and one for um uh today so two packages and i got something out of it i'll explain to you guys later but let's take a look at the units that i got so just to have a what do you call this just to have a brief background where i got them so for kyle Kyle I got from the selector ticket, the first one, as a beginner. You get to have um, 30 pulls uh, from that one. Then you select the best group from your, you know, from your summons. Then I, I actually got Kyle from there. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I got Esther Rosa from the selector ticket that I mentioned a while back. Then also... Um, Chifuyu, I got Chifuyu from this one. The 100 Day Special Recruitment. So I got Chifuyu here. I also got Elizabeth here. So I have Elizabeth already. Let's go back to Sigma, of course, I got from her banner. I was actually pretty much lucky with her. I got her on, um, I think, 20 pulls only. So I got her ready. Then Shaolin, I was able to get um in the sigma banner as well um i'm sorry i got i got 30 pulls from that banner one for sigma one for shaolin and actually what luck i had in one pull i got three ssr so i got dominic um hayami sanai and yeah shaolin sorry shaolin so I got Sigma, Hayami Sanai, Dominic, and Shaolin in Sigma's banner. Three SSRs in one banner. So again, that's actually just RNG. That's luck. So don't expect that the RNG would be the same if you start the game now. But more or less, what I'm saying is 
you'll have a bigger chance of getting you know ssr units um as soon as you start i still have to collect around three more i'll show you guys later um who else so serapel i got in yuna's banner i did pull for yuna's banner i got her there um who else so as, as you can see elizabeth is here hayami sanai is here um edel i also got in the yuna banner so nothing nothing came out of the yuna banner except for um serapel was very was a very um lucky pull because i only pulled for one single pull and i got her and i think edel came out of a multi for the yuna banner so again i'm pretty much happy where i am um sad to say i won't be able to pull for the yuna banner anymore i don't have the um, classified employment uh, uh recruitment uh contracts anymore so just to um let you guys know that you can get more ssrs so i'll be getting this from the 10th day and this one is going to be on the 20th day for the new um gifts for new ceos then you'll also be getting uh where is it sorry partners you go to your mentee as a beginner you actually are you could actually request for a mentor so what i did was i was able to pair my free to play account uh with my main account so this is actually my main account if you want you guys to be your mentor and claim this reward so that you can claim these rewards and also the ssr counter testimonial here um please do add me and take note of my business registration number you can actually search that and put it and you could add me as your mentor so you could you know um enjoy these rewards as well okay so as far as progression um i actually i think have been progressing far enough so i have a lot of surplus for this one i haven't been collecting them because again um your eternium quickly you know quickly replenishes because the the max is still that small so let's go to our gauntlet um strategy is what i've been playing i haven't opened yet he um what you call this rank battle yet let's take a look at operation okay so for your mainstream i'm already up to episode four so the best way to do as a beginner is to clear up episode four i uh, sorry the mainstream so that you could open content um once you go episode four um five and six usually content opens like uh, supply operation this opens simulation is already open side story actually opens as well uh what else then free contract as well if you want to farm for gear you better um make sure that you play your free contract so that you could farm gear here easier as a beginner um you you open this open the free contract so that you could go to the supply operation and also here because the prerequisites here to open and to farm these these are easier for beginners actually um to farm because these are uh, you don't need a couple of ships for you to farm these you need only eight units so you you open it up to here then you are actually good to go in terms of farming i would suggest that you farm your heroes uh sorry you farm your gear um a minimum of t4 and up to t5 so t3 you can farm them but don't, don't focus on that them that much move up to t4 as you can see during my progress my gears are not that good so i have t2 tier 3 some even don't have any gears so you can actually progress through the stages without um high-end gears just wait till you get um get to farm t4 molds and t4 gear you focus on that you farm on that then you could equip them so once you're done with t4 move up to tier 5 if necessary because eventually as you 
progress further in the game, the lower tier gears, you're still going to replace them eventually. Three days of playing. I'm pretty happy with my account. Um, the problem with free to play is actually just the saving up for classified, uh, what do you call this? Classified recruitment tickets. So this one. For classified recruitment contracts. This one is going to be a challenge for you because you cannot buy um, admin coins um, as free to play. You cannot even purchase admin coins for crystals. So again, the only the only way that you can gain a lot of classified employment contract for free to play is to farm your quartz crystals and buy them here. This package, the recruitment quartz package classified. This is I think two thousand seven fifty. Um, quartz where you can farm them and uh, what else so that's it apart um usually when you start the game out it's not really hard to get um your employment contracts again even if you're late um, recruiting for this banner it will still give you the amount that it's supposed to to give you guys so um i would highly suggest that you join right now within the next few days so that you could avail of the hundred hundred recruits that is it guys so again as you can see here you have your task planet points these actually accumulate um every sorry every time you recruit so let's say for example i have here um 1990 let's round that out to let's round that out to 2000 so just one recruit guys just to round it out to 2000 nothing so as you can see here, see that's a plus 10 and in your task planet point so wait for this to um go up to 3000 then you can actually buy your operator do not recruit your operator in the banner the operators are here you might buy them here and i already have a separate guide on more or less which um operators to prioritize but in, in a nutshell, if you want it as simple as possible for beginners, try to go with Lena McKenzie because she is, I think, perfect for all around play, for PvP, and for PvE. So, guys, that is it for me. More or less, that is where I'm at at day three for my free to play account. Please look forward to another, um, another episode for free to play. Again, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far in this video. Don't forget to click that bell icon if you consider subscribing and also guys please put a like for this video thank you stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here